Okay, I'm um, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakadash. Double honors to the elders of GMS, salutations to all the Akim out there that's pushing this truth. Also, Shalom to the rest of the hopeful elect. I think I'm going to name this lesson Your Integrity and Your Salvation is on the line. All right? Because uh, every brother, uh, like it says in the book of Revelations, let's grab that real quick. Well, where Yahweh Shai said he was going to what try the world, man. Okay. But the things that we that we uh that we stand on, the things that we believe in, all right, is going to be tried in in that day. Okay. So all these so-called Christians, all right, all right, um, uh, uh, or people that that have some kind of morals, okay. We're going to see if they're really going to stand on that. And even even us. All right. Starting with us first. OK. We're going to see. All right. All right. If brothers is going to hold on to that integrity. All right. Or, you know, or, or the things they or the things uh, 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 they uh, believe in. OK. You want uh, you want to take a take a bribe. All right. To uh, to, to to live comfortable. All right. You uh, you you won't be afraid of death, all right? If it's if it's if it's in your face in in, in that day, okay. But uh, so like, let me grab this real quick. Now I'm just going randomly. I'm gonna find a couple scriptures, man. Okay. But this is Revelations uh, three and ten. It says because be so like, yeah. Revelation three and ten because thou has kept the word of my patience, all right. And that's the thing. That's what holding on to your to your moral and to your moral integrity. Matter of fact, I want to get that. I'm, I'm gonna get it done. I'm gonna go. Since I already got it. Uh, because thou has kept the word of my patience. All right. And what? That's what holding your integrity. All right. If you holding on to this thing. All right. That means what? You you got some kind of uh, morals, man. Okay. You're not willing to uh, go on with this with this world, man. All right. Follow this present world. It says, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. And that's showing you, look, if you're part of the elect, look, the Lord got you. The Lord said he's going to keep you. Another word for keep is what? Guard. All right. So the Lord, hey, he's going to have the angels with us. All right. Hey, if you with a brother, hey, you might have, have, a, have, a, uh, have a brother with you. All right. Whatever it is, the Lord, he's going to keep us from this upcoming destruction, man. And, for, um, and from um, being, and, and from, um. Um, um, becoming weak, all right, in these last days, okay. It says, uh, which shall come upon all the world and try and try them that dwell upon the earth, and that time of uh, uh, uh of 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 trial where that trial is uh coming, all right. It speaks about the uh, the trial of your faith, all right, which I'll probably grab that too. Okay, it says, Behold, I come quickly, hold fast which thou hast, that no man take your crown. All right, and if you want that crown, if you plant, if you want to sit on um um a uh, throne, all right, judging the twelve tribes of Israel, all right, that's uh, as the Lord told uh uh the the twelve, all right, then you're gonna hold on to your integrity, man. All right, you're gonna hold on to this to this truth, man. All right. It's written also in the book of Revelations. Uh, uh, it says, uh, it says, and yeah, and they love not their own lives, man. All right. Remember, the, 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 the truth comes first. All right. You, you shouldn't be having uh, thoughts. All right. About this world uh, uh, going on, man. All right. You know, when I hear people. Uh, speak about uh uh plans all right having plans for this for this right i cringe at it all right on the um inside man i'll be like god damn somebody planning for five years from now in this cesspool man you know but those are things we have to deal with man that's why uh, it's written also in peter it says uh and it vex a lot righteous soul man all right if you have a righteous soul man all right you're not gonna uh uh, 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 have a uh, word I'm looking for. I'm just gonna say you're not gonna have plans to be in this society. 
All right, there's another word that I that I wanted to use, but it wouldn't come out. Wouldn't come to my head. All right, but uh, you're not gonna have plans. All right, for this for this society, man. Okay, you already got in the back of your mind. Look, like look, this place is over. Okay, I'm just gonna do what I gotta do until that until the day of my uh, salvation come. You know, but uh, treat that part of it. to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly, hold fast, which thou hast, see? And that's hold, holding fast, man, or what? Hold, hold, uh, what he's saying is what? Keep the faith, all right? Keep this word instilled in you, man. All right, don't don't bow down to this man, all right? Now, let's go, because I was looking up that word, okay? Uh, integrity, it says, the quality of being honest and having moral principles, all right? Like, for example, when we look down on um, hom homosexuality, right? That's a that's a moral principle because why? You don't believe in those things, man. You believe what? Those things are uh, wicked. All right. Same thing with the CHIP. You like, look, man. I'm not. I'm. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna become somebody's perpetual slave, man. All right. The, the hell with all that. You know. Fuck it. I'd rather die. All right. The, to 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 uh, be, be somebody's uh fucking robot man all right now when you go it says uh no and i'll probably go into this word a little bit it says the quality of being honest and having moral principles it says moral uprightness or what righteousness man uh let's check out some of the synonyms uh honesty uprightness uh rectitude honor morals uh now some of the words they took off all right it says honor, which I can see them still, even though they got them grayed out. It says honorableness, upstandingness. It says good character. All right. Now another thing what the scripture speaks of, it speaks about having a, a good name, man. All right. Now, will, now would that good name carry on to the kingdom of heaven? All right. If you uh, if you was to die, yes. All right. Because when you read the book of Revelations, right, it says and their works do follow them. All right. Those men that uh that uh died, man. Okay, but why? No, but but what? Those men was upright, all right? They held on to their honor, their uh, integrity, you know, those 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 different um um godly virtues, man. All right, that's gonna lead you to salvation in these last days, okay? It says uh sincerity, truthfulness, trustworthiness, right? And look at the, the uh if the, if the Lord gave you this 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 word, you're trustworthy, all right, to, to the Lord, man, all right, because something that's uh that's precious, all right, like 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 the Lord's word, He's not just just gonna give it to anybody, all right, and if He do see you're being a a a, a, a demon or a niggard with His word, He snatch it away from you, man, all right, which we know is all right. The scriptures give. Give examples of people that says that's, that's, that's going to go back into the world, man. All right, but they show you, all right. They they didn't have a backbone, all right, or the integrity, all right, to actually uh 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 tour tour to the the they didn't have a backbone or, or the integrity, all right, to endure the uh the uh the the things, all right, that was about to come upon the earth, anyways, all right. So the Lord snatched that away, okay. Salak, y'all, on my screen. Just lock. But Salak, sometimes words get twisted up. All right. You trying to speak too fast. Uh, let's see. I don't really. All right. Now, let's go back to the scriptures. All right. And we're going to hit a couple scriptures. All right. I'm just going to put in the word integrity real quick. And let's see what pops up. All right. Which you know, we gonna we gonna read the one in, in Job first, all right? Because that that's the one most definitely got to be read. Job two and three, and the Lord said, and the Lord said unto Satan, As thou considered my servant Job, and, and we gonna read nine. So we gonna jump to nine. 
It says, there's none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man. Right. And you want to be like Job. You want to be that perfect and upright man. All right. It says, and one that fear of Yahweh and eschew of the evil. All right. That's, hey, you want that to be you, man. All right. You want to look down upon evil, man. All right. And when you're faced with that evil, all right, which what I'm referring to is what? Uh, uh, that, that CHIP, man. All right. Hey, you want to look down upon that too. All right. Because that's evil. All right. That's that's straight that's straight up against the heavenly Father, man. All right. Uh, it's written, the Lord have not given us the license to sin, man. Okay. It says, an upright man, one that fear of Yahweh and eschew of evil, and still hold a fast my his integrity. You see, and you want to be like Job, although thou movest me against him to destroy him without a cause. All right. Now let's jump to Job. Hey, good, cause the Lord He gonna send send some of us through the rigor, man. All right. Now Job was he was righteous, all right. But the Lord, what? Hey, He put hell on him, man. And what did Job do? Maintain his integrity. All right. This is a uh, let me see. Uh, Job twenty seven and five says, "God forbid that I should justify you." Till I die, I will not hold on. I will not remove my integrity. All right. Uh, Thirty-one and six in Job. Let me be weighed in an even balance that Yahweh may know my integrity. Okay. Uh, that's true. Now it was one in Proverbs that I that I liked. A couple one that I like. I think it was in Proverbs. It says. Uh, All right, both of these, matter of fact, really, both of these are good. It says, uh, Proverbs 11 and 3, all right? The integrity of the upright shall guide them. All right, you hear that? The integrity of the upright shall guide them, okay? So in that day, all right, our, 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 uh, our morals, all right, the things that we actually believe is going to guide us in that day, man. All right, because look, a lot of these people, they don't have nothing to stand on. So that's why it's going to be so easy for them to uh, be, be chipped, man. Another word for integrity is uh is uh, innocence. You see, innocence, man. All right. It says the integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the but the perverseness of transgressors shall destroy them. So once they take that chip, man, they done, man. All right. Because look, they gonna want to continue in 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 Egypt, in America. All right. And that's a perverse thing. Cause why? There's nothing but wickedness here, man. All right. Even uh, what's his name? What's that comedian name, uh, Corey Holcomb. He even made a statement. He said, "Man, look, there's nothing here, all right, for Negroes in America, man. All right, either you're entertaining for the so-called white man, or you're working to death, all right, or you either locked up, all right, or or or, 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 or you just straight up destroyed out here, man, homeless, whatever, man, you know." Or you just flat out catching hell. There's nothing here for you, man. All right. Now let's read. Uh, let's read 19. Ver uh, Proverbs 19 and 1. It says, uh, "Better is the poor that walk up in his integrity." Like look, a perfect example. When you look at these uh, these rappers and, and things, man. You know, they don't got no integrity, man. Because why? They 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 bent over for that money, man. All right, they they worship Satan for that money, so better is the poor. Okay, it says better is the poor that walketh in his integrity, than he that is perverse in his lips and is a fool. All right, now I got one more scripture that I want to hit, man. Let All right, this is Isaiah 33 and 15. It says, He that walketh righteously speaketh uprightly. All right, and that's that's us, man. All right, that's how we're able to go out and and or, or uh, do videos like this, whether we're on the streets or whether I'm sitting down in my car doing a video, right? That's why I'm trying to walk righteously. All right, so what I'm able to, 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 to speak on these things, man. If 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 if, if if you're wicked, man, hey, you can't come out and um speak boldly like us, man. All right, because why? Hey, uh, it's written in I think it's wisdom. Wisdom of Solomon says, uh, 
he will not uh, allow uh, wisdom to, to to dwell in a uh, in the in, he would not uh, he he would not let he would not allow wisdom to dwell in a malicious soul. You see. So if you're not uh, uh, righteous, you're what malicious. All right, you're wicked. He that speaketh righteously and so like he that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly. He that despite of the gain of oppressions that shake of his hands from the holding of bribes. All right. And what's the bribes real quick? All right. A present. All right. And that present or what? A reward. Okay. Now you got a lot of guys, man. All right. In, 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 um, I was about to say great millstone, but, uh, <laughs> but you got a lot of guys amongst these other camps, man. They done took, they done took a reward, man. All right. And compromise their integrity, man. Okay. It says, uh, all right. But when you read the scriptures talking about what having integrity, okay. It says, uh, he that in spite of the gain of oppression and shake of his hands from, from holding of bribes that stop of his ears from hearing of blood. And shut up his eyes from seeing evil. All right, he so dwell on high. His place of defense, and his shall be his shall be his munitions. All right, it says, uh, shall I, shall, I, shall be the munitions of his rocks, and bread shall be given him, and his water shall be sore. And that's talking about the Lord feeding you with his knowledge, man. And also what? Protect you in the day of evil, man. All right. Okay. It says, let me see. Thy eye, all right. I'm going to read just a little bit, boy. It says, uh, thy eyes shall see the king in his beauty. All right. Which is talking about this, this understanding. And they shall behold the land that is afar off. And eventually we is going to inherit our land. So with that, I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Shurik HaKadash. Double honor to the LGMS salutations. So I came out there that's pushing this truth. Also, shalom to the rest of the hopeful elect. Peace.